Today I'm talking about CBD soaked tampons. Yeah, it's an interesting one, so stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel, my friends. Dr. Jennifer Lincoln here, board certified OBGYN, author, and social media educator. And today I'm talking about tampons soaked with CBD because apparently this is a thing now. And so I wanna talk about it. And I figured if we're talking about something that seems a little fringe, then I needed to wear my not your average OBGYN t-shirt because that's how I'm feeling today. So first things first, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the bell so you get a notification every time there's an upload. And let's jump into this. So this all came about, like all good things do, with a TikTok where somebody had tagged me in a TikTok somebody was doing about day CBD soaked tampons. And you can see it here, I'm reviewing it. And the reason I'm talking about it more is because they jumped into my comment section and left oodles and oodles of comments. And I thought, I need to look into this some more. So here's an example of some of the comments that you can see here that they were posting. And I think that they were trying to, you know, answer comments and questions because they knew that there were a lot of eyes on my TikTok and so they wanted their stuff to be out there. And here's why we are where we're here today. These string of comments right here where they said, hey, Dr. Lincoln, we've conducted double blinded clinical trials testing the safety and efficacy of our tampons. We've also completed the full FDA biocompatibility panel to ensure it doesn't disrupt your pH and microbiome and doesn't cause TSS, that stands for toxic shock syndrome. We make our data readily available to everybody on our website. Do you? Our team has reached out with our data pack. And so it's true, they did email me and we went back and forth. And here's the thing, they do have studies about this and we're gonna talk about whether or not this is safe, does it work? But their claim that they make their data readily available is actually not true, so let's dive in. Okay, first let's talk about what CBD is. It stands for cannabidiol and it is an active ingredient in the cannabis plant. It has some effects that we know about. It is not the one that is THC that's associated with the effect of feeling high. And according to the World Health Organization, in humans, CBD exhibits no effects indicative of any abuse or dependence potential, meaning it's not addictive. There are a lot of trials out there about CBD, and there's really one main example where we have seen that CBD works really well, and this is in a rare form of epilepsy. There are a lot of other unproven claims that you can see here. And I say unproven because the data that we have isn't great or it contradicts each other, or we just don't have enough information quite yet. And you can find CBD anywhere now, right? Like at your local 7-Eleven, at the corner store. It's in tinctures, it's in creams, it's in gummies, it's in chocolates. You can find it in face masks. You can even find CBD infused clothes with the claim that it makes your recovery like better or less painful. I told you, everywhere. So now here we are talking about CBD infused tampons. And CBD is a huge market. I know we talk about big pharma, but I want you to start thinking about big CBD because by 2024, it's expected to be a 24 billion, with a B, $24 billion market. That's a lot of CBD. And I do wanna talk about CBD safety concerns. It is regulated by the FDA as a supplement, not as a drug. So it's in the same category as vitamins and other quote unquote natural supplements. It means it doesn't have the same rigorous safety standards, purity standards. So what a bottle says may be in it, very often isn't the truth. A 2017 study found that nearly 70% of all CBD products were mislabeled, meaning that they had a different dose than what was on the bottle, or they had other compounds in it that weren't listed. In fact, 20% were found to be laced with THC. And we don't know the best doses of CBD when it comes to some of the claims that I showed you before, like pain control, nausea control, anti-inflammatory properties. And there are some side effects associated with it, usually with higher doses of ingestion, like nausea, fatigue. It's also metabolized by the liver, and so it can cause liver damage if it is consumed in high doses, and it can interact with other medications also metabolized by the liver. Okay, so you saw how this company, Day Tampons, which sells a CBD-infused tampon, came onto my TikTok, and so I wanted to dive in and see what's up with CBD tampons. So this company was founded in March 2020, and they sell CBD-infused tampons and regular tampons in Europe right now. They make the claim that their tampons that are infused with CBD are cramp soothing. And here's how they work. I'm reading from the website. We chose to apply a thin layer of CBD extract from hemp flowers to the outer surface of our tampons. There it's in contact with the vaginal mucosa, which is highly absorbent. And that's true. And their premise is that 
This would be absorbed better and work more quickly on treating cramps and pain associated with periods when it's absorbed from the vagina versus taking it by mouth. So I want to address this comment here that they made on my TikTok. Our tampons have undergone multiple clinical trials to ensure their safety and efficacy. They're even doctor recommended. Well, ignore that last statement because like Dr. Oz is a doctor and he's an idiot and you can pay anybody to recommend anything. So I wouldn't go with that. But talking about their safety studies, when I reached out to them, they did send me safety studies and they were good. They were looking to make sure that the tampons that had CBD on them didn't cause overgrowth of harmful bacteria, didn't make people more susceptible to TSS or toxic shock syndrome, which is something that can be associated with tampon use, but is incredibly rare. Actually, your risk of TSS is higher from other sources not related to tampons, but all tampon companies look at this and they should, and I appreciate that. So yes, they did do that. They also made sure that the tampons didn't affect the pH of the vagina or cause vaginal irritation. Awesome, thumbs up day. So let's address what they said here. We make our data readily available to everyone on our website. Let's go looking for it. So when you go to their website and you scroll down and you click on Backed by Science, learn more about our clinical trials. Yes, that's awesome. Let's check it out. So when you click here, you can see they say that they work closely with their medical advisory board and they have conducted the following studies. Preclinical, you can see here, impact on, on basically safety testing. So this means that they did these tests before they brought the tampon to market to make sure that they were safe, which is great. And then you've got your human trials here. This is what they're claiming is their double-blinded clinical control trial that is like the basis for, for why their tampons work and are better. An 80-person single-blind multi-center randomized controlled trial. What that means is that the people who use the tampons didn't know if they had CBD on them or not. It's a, actually a very high quality way to study if something is working or not because the people using them, they don't know, so they aren't biased to saying, oh yeah, I think it worked. Here's the thing though, it's 80 people. And that's a great start, but that is not something that you hang your entire hat on or your whole company on. Then when you go, you're like, okay, well, can I actually see that study? Can I see and read about it and see if it's a legitimate study. You go down to their frequently asked questions and say, have your tampons been clinically tested? So if you're like me and you go, okay, well, I'd like to actually see that study. I wanna see the methods, see if it was done appropriately, see if it was the appropriate size and the statistics add up. I go to their frequently asked questions page and I click on, have your tampons been clinically tested? Yes, we will be publishing our research very soon. So no day. Your data isn't available on your website because you don't have the actual studies up here. And what they sent me when I reached out further and I said, okay, it's not on your website. And also you have a very misleading claim on your website, which is this. In addition, data from over 60,000 women using day in real life show that our cramp soothing tampon is effective for over 80% of the general population. So I don't know about you, but when I heard that, I heard, wow, they have surveyed 60,000 women and 80% of those said that the CBD tampons reduced their cramps. That's really awesome. However, that is BS and that is untrue because the actual double-blinded study that they did was 80 people, not 60,000. So then I emailed again and said, I'm still struggling to figure out where you get these numbers from. And what they sent me was their most recent post-marketing surveillance. So that's basically after a product is out, they contact people and say, hey, what did you think? And their post-marketing surveillance data is good. I'll read you some numbers here. It showed that pain relief in people who use CBD tampons, 71% of customers said that it relieved their pain. It made their periods less crampy, less painful. 51% of customers actually use less painkillers like ibuprofen on their period when they use the CBD tampons. Here's the thing. This is good information, but this is not double-blinded randomized trial. It's not what they're putting in my comments saying that's what they've, you know, that's what they've collected. So here's what I think the bottom line is on these tampons. I think that CBD infused tampons probably do help people have more comfortable periods. I think this company has done a good job showing that they're not harmful to the vagina. I think this company has done a terrible job being transparent with their data. I think if they have a study that was randomized and double-blinded, then they should go ahead and show those results. Because just saying that they had it and it worked does nothing for people like me who need to see the statistics. 
And I'm not going to go into stats. I'm not an epidemiologist, but we need to know things like p-values to see if the differences were statistically significant. And we need to know if the study was powered enough to show the difference, meaning did they have enough people in the study to show that it actually did work? The bottom line is, if you have the data, let's see it and let's make it more transparent. And you need to be even more transparent with these kinds of products that are not your average period products for people like me to get on board. Because if you show me that they work and they're safe, I am all about it. But don't come into my comment section making claims about studies that you've done when they're itty bitty and the wording on your website is very hard to understand. Because on your website, I think that you've surveyed 60,000 women and 80% of them had better periods in your randomized trial. That's not what happened. And before you say, well, they don't have the money, they're not like big pharma, bullshit. They've got the money, they can do these studies, they've done a lot of preclinical studies and these studies are not that hard to do. And if you wanna get a bigger market share, you need to put this money into this investment. You need to show women and people who use tampons that your product is reliable and trustworthy, especially if you want medical practitioners to get on board. And if it works, I wanna get on board. Now, don't go out there and start buying CBD oil and like dipping your tampon in it. That's not what we're talking about. Remember, like I said, the vaginal mucosa is very absorbent and it's important that if you're putting something in there, we need to make sure it's the right dose and it's safe. So please don't hear me saying CBD works on tampons and go crazy. So day, I'm asking for better data, more transparency. And if you're going to come into my comment section, I welcome you, but please make sure that your comments are clear and are truthful. All right. Have you used CBD tampons? What do you think about them? What do you think about the CBD market in general? Go ahead and drop your questions and comments below. And as always, I've got resources and references. All the stuff that I referenced today will be in my show notes. And go ahead and follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Dr. Jennifer Lingen for more. And stay safe out there. And I hope everybody has periods that are not that crampy and not that painful in your future. 